national guidelines as um, reiterated in the 2012 consultation document regarding the same act was that um, new systems would provide for, say, £10,000 per place, together with topic projects which would be uh, determined locally to meet the impartially assessed needs of the children. So the problem at the moment is, um, from past experience, the needs of the children require more funding than the proposals the local authority came up with, whether they look at new funding arrangements for the topic funding. But it's not that. Um, the, the deficit is um, because uh, of the, the, uh, the, uh, the kids there. The problem is that there's insufficient funding being put in to meet the needs of those kids, as has happened in the past. Yeah, I'm, just I'm, I'm, I'm not asking for the financial reason for what needs to be on the children, I'm just saying that when you come to the school, on a year-by-year -year basis, the deficit is growing, and therefore it could be a financial reason for closing the school. Only if you accept that the top funding provided for the family by the NLP treatment has been provided correctly, which I don't think it has. Right. It hasn't been correctly assessed. Yes, yes, they, they, they provided the funding, but it's been uh, under this 
Yes, the bank um, the uh, is uh, uh, in um, and um, uh, 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 when pupils are sent out to the program, the funding that you to provide is actually a greater level of saving, a greater level than the uh, amount of the bank account the bank uh, account for the Phil. Thank you, Chair. That means cannot be improved upon. 
cannot do that in case of it and does not have any more. So for me, it would be very difficult using their words to actually say there is another setting available that can improve on, on a unique school. Right, another point, in the first consultation document, um, <coughs> it stated that many of the children at the Mayo School have PMLD. Right, now in the cabinet report, it says most of the children have PMLD. Now, at uh, every park school, many of the children have PMLD, but it does not make up the vast majority of the school, it makes a small percentage. So if you read that many of the children at Lindale School have PMLD, you may get the impression that this is 40, 60, 20, 80, whatever it may be, and then when you read that the 33,000 pound required for each pupil, that may give you the impression, well, that's, a, that's not given value for money, but the actual mathematics of it is, 90% of the children at the school are PMLD. So in comparison to the other schools, the cost per pupil is obviously going to be a lot more. So to give a comparison of the various costs of the children, I think it's misleading when you use the word many. I mean, I presume you must have put some thought into the consultation, and the word the vast majority, or almost, would have been far more appropriate to use than many, because many has got all sorts of different meanings and does not get a true reflection of the school. Um, so there's a couple of things. I'm sorry,